the normal duration of activity A is six weeks. And you already know that because it is on the critical path, I want you to always highlight the critical path which connects the critical activities. Remember that they have direction uh, like this. And this was a problem maker for us because two activities on the critical path were the predecessors to this activity. So these are the activities on the critical path. We know that if we, um, if we crash, crashing means finishing faster. If we crash activity A, uh, the project will finish sooner. And this table is telling us that the normal time is six. I want you to add an ED here. And this is actually minimum crashed duration. So in this column, the book is actually telling you that how fast you can go and what is your minimum duration for the Like basically we cannot finish activity A faster than four weeks. So to make sure that you understand what I'm talking about, I ask, what is the normal duration for D? Normal duration for D is seven, seven weeks. What is the fastest way that I can do D? In how long? Um, fastest is 10? No. Fastest uh, for activity D, you just look at this row. You see this row that I'm highlighting? Yes. And then minimum crashed, this is ED here. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Minimum crashed duration is? Five weeks. Five. So yes, we can finish D faster, but not as much as we like. You know, you cannot finish it sooner than five weeks. Like, uh, like for example, in construction, uh, it takes the thing to dry or there are some limitations that you cannot go faster than some speed. Uh, what is the normal duration for E? Um, six, six weeks. Very good. What is the fastest way that we can finish E? Four weeks. Very good. Very good. So, so now you understand the meaning of this. Also, we know how, uh, how much does it cost to finish each activity. For example, it takes, uh, if we want to finish activity A in six weeks, it costs $500. If we want to finish it faster, then it costs more. So total crash the cost. So did, are you adding this ED at the end? This is the crash. So if you do it in six weeks, that six weeks, for that six weeks, you have to pay $500. If you want to finish it in four weeks, then you have to pay extra hours and more money to people to finish it faster. And your total cost will become $1,300. Okay? So... For every week that we go faster, how much we have to pay more? 400. 400. Yeah, because how, how is this 400 calculated? If I finish it yeah. in four weeks, the cost is 1300. If I finish it in six weeks, the cost is 500. So in total, how much I'm paying more from 500 to 1300? 800. 800. So I'm paying 800 more to go how much faster? Two weeks. Two weeks. Is everybody following this? This 400 is the crash cost per week. So for every week that I want to go faster, I have to pay $400. If I pay $800, I can finish it in four weeks. Um, is everybody following? Uh, Amir, can I ask how do you get the eight hundred dollars? Yeah, how much is the uh, if how much will be my total cost if I finish it in normal duration six week? How much is my cost for activity A if I want uh, to finish 500. it? Five hundred. Oh, very so, good. Yeah. And how much is my cost 
if I finish it the fastest way that I can go in four weeks? 400. No. Do you see this arrow? It shows how much is the cost of yeah. doing it in... Yeah, 1300. 1300, very good. So to go from six weeks to four weeks, how much should I pay more? Oh, uh, okay, I got it. But just you have to answer. We are answering for the whole class, not just for yourself. So 800 more. 800, you have to pay 800 more to speed up two weeks. So for every week, you have to pay 400. Got it. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Okay. So now the question is that if we want to crash, uh, finish this project sooner, we have many options. We already discussed that. Which one will you crash first? Can we crash E? Yeah. Can we? If we crash E, will the project finish sooner? No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no. So, so E is the cheapest, but it's useless. So which activity do we crash first? These are Indeed. all exam questions. I'm not wasting your time. I've chosen this because this is very similar to your exam. So activity E, we don't crash because it's not on the critical path. So which one do we crash? D. 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 Okay. So the way that we approach this, you know, I want you to have a systemic approach. Okay. So we write all of the candidates. If I crash A, Right. If I crash A, that is one, one of my options. How much should I pay? 400. Yeah, so notice that you're creating a set of possibilities, 400. Uh, can I crash B, is it useful? You'd have to crash C as well. So yeah, so how much if I crash B, like you see, these are very, you know, I spent a lot of time that we reached to this point that you can easily see that these two must be crashed together. This is an achievement. So the next option that I have is crashing B and C together. How much is that cost? 650. 650. Can I crash D? Yes. How much is that cost? 200. D, 200. And can I crash F? Yes. And how much does that cost? 500. 500. So now these are my options for a speeding of my project. Which one I will choose? D. D, very good, like doctor. So our decision was that, you know, in your case, uh, in the case file, I want you to write, uh, you know, decisions like this. You'll say, uh, first, I will crash D cost equals to, what was the cost? I don't have it in front of me. 200. 200, okay. Then we will, uh, you know, so, and the project will finish in 18 weeks. So we go to D, which is seven to six. And the project will finish in 18 weeks. Are you following me? Any questions? Then the client comes to you and says, I want to finish the project faster than this. And I will give you a good prize. Now tell me what would be the next project that you will crash. This, the next activity that you crash to finish your project in 17 weeks. D again? No, we have to, we have to follow our process. So please tell me the, your pro, uh, thought process here. What is your first option? A. Our first option is crashing A. How much is the cost? 400. 400. What is my other option? B, C for 650. 
What is my next option? D again for 200. D. Like doctor? Yes. Uh, right now, the duration of D is six, right? What yes. is the minimum duration for D? Five. Okay, so I can crash it. Uh, so how much? 200. 200. And do I have any other option? Yes, F, oh. 100. Um, so you think that F is? 500. 500. So you want to crash D, right? Yes. Everybody, please, if you are sleeping, please wake up and do this with us. We are going uh, to here. change. So everybody, pl please change this six to five based on our decision. Will the project finish sooner? No. No, it didn't. So why? If I, if I crash D, unfortunately, my project doesn't finish sooner. Can you tell me why? Because D and E are in line with each other. They need to be completed. At it, no, no. They can just read that sentence that I told you. D and E. D and are E. activities. Yeah. These are both a predecessor for... For what? F. These are both are predecessors for F. F. Therefore, if I want to finish the project sooner, because now look at this this row, this uh, Slack column. Now all of the activities are on the critical path. The critical path changed. The activity C before, sorry, activity E before was not on the critical path. But now it is on the critical path. Okay. Let me show you again. At first, the duration of uh, D was seven. Notice that uh, activity E has one week of a slack. It's not on the critical path. But when I change this seven to six, now all of the activities on the, are on the critical path. And D and E are both predecessors to F. Therefore, my option is to crash both D and E. Can we crash E at all? What is the E? Uh, is it crashable? Yes. Yeah, it is not six. It can go to four. Okay. And how much would be the cost of crashing D and E together? 250. 250. Okay, so for the next step, what is the activity you will crash? DE. DE, very good. So here we write, second, I will crash DE cost equals to 250. And then this is our decision. And then we go there and we do actual the crash. So we are at this stage because yeah. we crash D first. So we change this to five and we change, we crash this one as well. And now the project is finishing in 17, 17 weeks. Now the, the client comes to you and says, you know what? I will give you 10,000 more if you finish the project in 16 weeks. Okay, what are the options? Uh, Can we crash A? Yes. How much is the cost? 400. Very good. Can we crash B and C? B and C, yes. How much is the cost? 650. Okay. Can we crash D and E? Notice that they should be crashed together. Can I crash D and E? I, yes. Okay, I tricked you. How much is the duration of D right now? I. How much is the minimum duration? Uh, for D. 
Five. Can we crash D? No. <laughs> Here you are. So this is not one of options anymore. Okay. Uh, what else? Can we crash E alone? E is no. Because it's parallel with D, both of them yeah. are produced. Can we crash F? F? Yes. How much is the cost? 500. What do you do? Which activity will you crash? Uh, A. Very good. So we go to act here. Uh, we announce what we want to do. In the third step, I will crash A with a cost of 400. 400. Amir, I just had a quick question. Sure. Uh, what formatting did you use for it to highlight when it's on the critical path automatically, like when there's zero slides? Uh, uh, and in here? Yeah. In the column I? Yeah. Conditional formatting. Do you know okay. how to use conditional formatting? Sort of, if you could just give yeah, me a... So just, just look at this. You click on uh, the cell that you want to use conditional formatting for, and then you click on this thing, and then highlight cell rules. Okay. And we want if it is equal to to be like a, any color that you right. like. Right, awesome, thank you. My pleasure. So um, the project uh, client comes to you and says, I will give you $10,000. Uh, so notice that at this system, we have to crash A, so we change six to five. Right now, the project is finishing in 16 weeks. They say, we will give you $10,000 if you finish it in 15 weeks. What do you do? You go and find which um, which period you want to crash again. Crash A again. Um, which activity? So we have to first think about the possibilities, set of possibilities. Was there a question? Can we crash A? Yes, we can. What is the uh, minimum crash duration for A? For four weeks. Okay, so we can. So how much is the cost of crashing A? 400. 400, very good. Can we crash B and C? Yes, we can. Okay, how much is the cost of that? 650. Very good. Can we crash F? Yes, we can. Okay, and the cost is 500. 500. So what do you do? We crash A again. Very good. So here you type. Fourth, I will crash A, cost equals to, notice that these crash costs per week are constant. Don't use the crash duration, you know, if you use the, this changing duration, then you will have problem. Never use the a changing, the original duration matters in the calculation of crash cost uh, per week. That's the reason that I said write it on the piece of paper, it shouldn't change, okay. So now we will crash the duration of A from five to four. The project client comes to you and says, I will pay you $10,000. What do you do? We first write the set of possibilities and we start with activities that are on the critical path. Can we crash A? Mm, no. We can't because it's already at four, which is its minimum crashed duration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can we crash B and C? Uh, B and C, uh, yes. Yeah, because B is at uh, four, it can be the minimum is two. two. C is at four and the minimum is three. three. So we can crash it. Uh, what is the cost? 650. Very good. Uh, and we already know that DE cannot be crashed. Can mm -hmm. we crash F? Uh, no, because D and E can't be crashed, right? No. Oh, but no, F, you can't crash F, F. We can We can spend money on F and we can finish it instead of 
two weeks, we can finish it in one week. Yeah. So, so what is the, the, what is that cost? Uh, 500. 500. And we will crash not BC because it's more expensive. We will crash F with a cost of 500. It's much cheaper. Very good. So let's go and do it. F goes from two to one. And now we are at 40. The project uh, client tells you that if you finish the project in 13 weeks, one week faster, I will give you $10,000. What do you do? You crash BC. No, we start with the activities and uh, we have a process. We never rush to judgment. So you start with activities on the critical path. Can I crash A? Uh, no, you can no longer crash A. Yeah, because A, yeah, the, it's at the minimum, right? Yeah. Same with that. Uh, can I crash BC? BC? Yes. Okay, that would be 650. Can I crash DE? Uh, no, you cannot. Can I crash F? No, you cannot. Okay, so but we can crash BC. So I will make my decision here. Sixth, I will crash BC. Cost is equal to 650. And then I will do that. So this would be three and three. And now my project finishes in 13 weeks. The project client comes to you and says, I will pay you $10,000 more if you finish your project in 12 weeks. What do you do? A is at minimum. We cannot crash it. Can we crash BC? No. Why not? Because the minimum crash duration for C is three weeks. Exactly. We can crash B, but unfortunately, B can go to two, but C cannot go to two. Therefore, we cannot crash BC. Can I crash DE? No. Uh, because both activities are on their minimum. Mm -hmm. Can I crash F? No. Why not? It's at the minimum crash version. Very good. So therefore, no matter how much money they offer to me, this project cannot be finished faster than in 13 weeks. Notice that in this process, we discovered what is the fastest way that this project can be finished and how much does it cost to finish this project in the fastest way. So fastest completion will cost us how much more? Ladies and gentlemen. It would cost $2,400. Very good. So basically, we can finish this project in its fastest form if you spend $2,400.